Okay, so it's about uh, May 1st. This is Joe Hollis at Mountain Gardens, making another little plant walk. I think I'm gonna try and do this pretty regularly. Uh, just a little view over the garden. Back at the far end, you can see rock wall with uh, wasabi growing there. And then that's our little duck pond. And just scanning across a bunch of bamboo. I'm trying to replace all the hemlocks that were in here that died out. And so I hope you can see something interesting. All I'm seeing is the reflection of my face in the back of this phone. That's looking over the garden. I thought this, today we'd go around and look on the other side of the house to see what I've got growing there. So I've got greenhouses on three sides of my house. This is the sort of southeast greenhouse. A uh, big collection of cactuses in here. Lots of plants waiting to go out. Look at the interesting new peonies and ferns and whatnot. Uh, this is all seeds waiting to germinate. Different species in every pot. I'm trying to use my uh, my little wood-fired hot tub. There's a tub of water under there. See if I can't speed up germination a little bit. Get some bottom heat going. So these are all things slated to go out into the garden. We've got a whole bunch of sea kale plants. Very excited about that. Famous uh, old time perennial vegetable. It's like, like a gigantic cabbage that's uh, blanched for eating in the very early springtime. This is skirret, another old time perennial vegetable. I'm excited to get going. More stuff back in here. A great deal of this is meant to go out in the garden. There's a psychotria plant there, a bunch more little seedling wasabis down below here. And so and so much stuff. Hopefully we'll find places for it all. And then more nursery out here. Here's a whole flat of different kinds of species peonies, some of them tree peonies, I suspect. Had good luck with those this year. Lots of different little seedling trees. You can see a trifoliate orange and a ginkgo and different kinds of, there's a Chinese hawthorn, some Chinese dogwood, quite a lot of mandrakes. So I need to find a place to set out legendary magical kind of herb. Hmm, so a little nursery area down here. These are all peonies that are now about three to four years old, this bunch. Looks like I've got at least three, maybe four different species here. And then these are just a couple years old. I'm pretty sure this is Peonia abovada, a wild peony from Japan. Some Angelica kiskii, considered one of the most medicinal of all the Angelicas. This is Fritillaria, Fritillaria pallida, uh, important Chinese herb for the respiratory system. Zerbe mu. There's another one you can see down there uh, that's actually still got flowers on it, the little yellow bell-shaped flowers. Here are a bunch of peony lactiflora coming up. In this bed, I see one, two, three, four, and a lot of chrysanthemum juhua. This peony is baishao, very important blood tonic, 
It's the common garden peony. There's a little clump of uh, Bucurum substitute species, Chai Hu. Oh, we got in here lots of various oriental species of uh, polygonatum coming up. Solomon seal, Trolleus. Uh, there is a great big Renshen, Chinese ginseng. Panax, uh, Panax ginseng. And then this taller one and the one next to it is boar hog root, Ligusticum canadense, Eastern Osha root. Some people call it, we've got a lot of different Jack in the pulpits, erysimas from the Orient. That would be one of them. Zasal, lithospermum. This is Yage banisteriopsis vine from the Amazon. It's been in the house all winter. I'm just letting it out to have a little sun and air. More of a nursery area back here. A lot of mushroom logs. From having had to take down this giant white oak. So he put a lot of, uh, a lot of it went into firewood, but a lot of it went into shiitakes as well. Growing a lot of tea up in here. This one is a new perennial vegetable to me, Dystania. 